Hey guys, it's Tanya with Thrifty Treasures, and today I am bringing you a jewelry jar and jarring. I picked this one up this morning for $14.99, and we're actually under a tornado uh, warning right now. I'm gonna show you the backyard, but before I do, happy Valentine's Day to everybody. Okay, look at this crazy rain, y'all. It is coming down. Cats and dogs. <laughs> Okay, whenever I go to open up the um, jar, what I do is I, I'll cut off the top with some scissors and then I will pour the contents into this white little bin here. I like to use these little uh, white buckets because it's easy to see the different jewelry pieces. So let me open it up and I'll show you. Okay guys, I got my scissors. I'm gonna open the jewelry jar. So it's like that. So what I'm gonna do is, let me get this right here. And I'm just gonna go all the way around the jar just like this along the edges and I'm opening it up okay and now once I get all this tape off I'm gonna pour it into the bucket okay here we go look at all those goodies Woohoo! so let's see if I find anything right off the bat uh, I'm not sure about that Oh, this is cute. The vintage watch. Here's a little beaded bracelet. I'll probably put that in my booth for a couple bucks. Some necklaces. Yep, definitely put that one in my booth too. And there's some neat pieces in here to craft with too. I really like uh, these shimmery green pieces here. Look like, I don't know if maybe those, those were buttons or, I know these are button covers. So I always like to craft with the uh, button covers too. That'd be really cute, little coyote there. And uh, the boots. That'd be good for the rodeo, some kind of rodeo craft. You know, the rodeo's coming up in March. So let me see if I can uh, find some goodies in here and then I'll show you guys what all I found whenever I come back. Okay, I'm finally done going through this jewelry jar that I picked up this morning. But before I show you guys everything I got, I wanted to show you a couple tools that I use. So I use this super strong magnet. And as you can see, it will stick to the fake stuff. It's really a strong magnet. Uh, okay, I can't even get it off. Goodness gracious. Okay. So, and then I also use uh, my loop here. So um, this helps me to see items because um, sometimes the print are so small, I can't even see. So um, I use this. And if you guys are interested in using these same products, I will put the uh, affiliate links down below. Um, just as a disclaimer, if you do click on the links, I might make a few cents off of, uh, off of the items if you happen to buy them. Okay, so I did find some necklaces. I'm gonna put these in my antique booth, probably for a few dollars each. I have so much jewelry uh, coming in right now that I just want to okay, blow I don't, stuff out. I don't know what happened just there, but I was saying that I just wanna blow the stuff out. Um, I'm in the business to make money, not, not hoard this jewelry in my antique booth. So uh, the cheaper it is, hopefully I'll attract more customers that way and I'll buy lots and lots of jewelry if it's super cheap. So that's the plan. I picked up, I didn't pick up, golly, what am I saying? So also in the jar, I got some watches and I just throw these aside in another bin um, because eventually I'm going to make a watch lot to sell. Um, here are some earrings that I got are here in the jar and some of these clip earrings I'll probably put in the booth for a few dollars. Now these are, this pair here is really interesting. It, I can't make out what it says on the back. It looks like it says maybe FJ and then an M and then USA. But um, I'm not sure about that. I have to do some more research on those. But they're really pretty, aren't they? And they're clips. And then this piece is really interesting. It's a pen. And um, the clasp is kind of like old style, too. So... But then it has this thing here, and this is really pointy. So I'm not sure what this is. I mean, I know it's a pin, a pin or like a brooch, but it's just weird that it has that piece there sticking out like that. And I didn't find any, 
markings on it either. And then I have a couple bracelets that I go to the booth, probably for $2 each. And I did find a few pieces of sterling silver, just the three here. So um, this one with like some abalonia shell. And then this one right here is marked sterling. And then this little stud is marked sterling. And so all of these pieces right here are gonna be my crafting pieces. And um, look at that one glistening, it's really pretty. Uh, so what I do with my crafting pieces is I will put them in this jar right here so that way when I get ready to craft I know that all my good pieces for crafting are in this jar. And then I'm also making another jewelry jar for my antique booth with the pieces that I don't want. So I'll probably put that in my booth for 10 bucks. Like I said, I want to move it, move it fast. So um, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Please hit the like button and share with your friends and subscribe if you haven't already. And we'll catch you in the next one. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Bye.